Welcome to Compost Vet Products, LLC, home of www.dlamrepair.com. Today, we're examining the causes of delamination on RV walls, which are sometimes visible as a bump or waviness on the surface. Another way to find delamination is by tapping on the sidewall. Here's a look inside of a camper wall. Construction is typical and throughout the industry. The typical RV wall is a composite structure. As we saw in the previous picture, the walls are framed with either wood or aluminum. The framing outlines the shape of the wall as well as openings for windows and doors. But most of the wall is a composite structure. We have paneling on the inside followed by styrofoam insulation and on the outside of the styrofoam is plywood typically a plywood called luan plywood it's usually three or four plies of mahogany wood attached to the plywood is the fiberglass exterior skin which is composed of glass fibers bonded together with a resin in the typical application the styrofoam is bonded to the interior paneling with contact adhesive. Then the plywood is bonded to the styrofoam with contact adhesive. And the framing would be also encapsulated in this structure. On top of the exterior plywood is the fiberglass siding, which again is coated with a contact cement or similar adhesive. The adhesive bonds these pieces together forming a composite structural wall panel. Interestingly enough, we have found that in RV wall delamination, it's not these components coming apart, but the plywood itself delaminating due to moisture intrusion. The plywood is made up of separate plies of wood as a manufactured wood product. However, the glue that's been used is not moisture resistant, and when it sees moisture, the glue fails and the plies separate. This picture shows an actual RV wall and you can see where the plywood has separated. And this is an example of a window opening where the plywood has obviously delaminated near the siding and the paneling on the inside has also delaminated. And in this final example, it's pretty obvious that the plywood has come apart. The root cause of delamination is moisture intrusion, such as moisture entering into this cracked light fixture and getting into the wall. In this example, we found that a screw had been broken off during manufacturing, which reduced the clamp pressure of the window seal, allowing moisture to enter the wall. We examined a brand new coach and found this quite large gap on the corner of the slide out where we know that water can get in there and to cause delamination. But most delamination is preventable as it's caused by failed gaskets and seals and cracked caulking, a maintenance issue. We understand this delamination issue, so we've created our compost set delamination repair kits featuring the SLV composite bonding resin, which effectively bonds the components back together. The kits are a basic starter package for delamination repair, and coupled with our expert technical assistance, we feel that you stand a good chance to fix many cases of delamination. We invested considerable resources to test and develop the Composet SLV bonding resin. We feel this is your best chance for rebonding the delamination in RV walls. The kit includes a number of tools and accessories that you'll find helpful in rebonding the delamination. And most importantly, we back up our products with excellent technical representation. We've done the repairs, we know how it works, and we're available by phone, email, and sharing photographs of your application. While there's no guarantee that our products will repair your wall damage and delamination, we believe our system does provide an alternative to complete wall replacement in many situations.